Brick Maniacs, hey, it is Lando here at the designer's desk of Dan Siskind with the famous boldo CB bulldozer, Natasha. Yep. Um, Dan, you want to talk a little bit about this awesome little creation you got here? Well, this is, you know, there's, there's, a, there's a classic movie called The Fighting Seabees. came out during World War II, and it talks about the origin of the Seabees. And if you don't know anything about the Seabees, Seabees stands for Contr CB, Constructs Construction Battalion. These are the Navy construction battalions formed during World War II to basically pave the way from uh, the United States to Tokyo. So uh, they, they created bases, they were everywhere that the, the Navy was, everywhere that the fighting was in the Pacific, they were there supporting, making barracks, making camps, making bases, air bases. If, if you needed an airfield somewhere, the CBs would be on scene. When they were still fighting in Guadalcanal, the CBs were there building Henderson Field, building all the facilities needed to make a, a, a forward base in the South Pacific. So. Um, the movie itself talks about the origin of the CBs. It's a you know if you haven't seen it yet, you need to go get on the get on the YouTube or, or somewhere watch the video. It's great. Um, this this is model after the one. It's not exact. It's an Alice Chalmers they had in the in the in the movie, and, and I and I modeled it as close as I could um, that I could actually find historical pictures of. So um, it is called Natasha. It is famous because it's it says it's we we just. You know, kind of bought. And so I mean, yeah. How would they use this in, in uh, on the battlefield or constructing bases? They weren't necessarily using the battlefield, right. but if you you know you're clearing runways, you're doing a lot of construction. You have bulldozers are pretty much the quintessential CB. You know, still to this day, you see a lot of they have they they use you know bulldozers from all different companies. Usually, you'll see uh, caterpillar bulldozers, but in the movie, they had this this particular bulldozer, and, and I was able to put put on this this particular dozer blade ensemble. Um, this does actually elevate and lower. I just wanted to show that real quick. Okay. So you can lower it. It is positionable. Um, there are a you know, couple cool features. It does it rolls brick, really, really well, brick actually. Brickmania track links, of course. That's um, one of the one of the better rolling models that I've seen, so that's cool. Right, and you basically, it's just a bulldozer. You know, yeah. What does it do? We, we have a sticker sheet that goes with it. It has the printed CB's tile. So that's the actual CB's unit logo. So this is a real thing. These guys are still around today, of course. Uh, integral part of the United States Navy. Yeah, the mascot right there on the side of the CB. Right yeah, there. it's a B. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> holding a bunch of different tools and a machine gun there. Well, yeah, he's got a, he has a, uh, a Tommy gun. Or something, something yeah. some yeah, yeah, gun. Yeah, so. <laughs> so one thing we did we did want to mention this is coming out. This is this is you know we haven't had something like this in a long time, yeah. and we're releasing this again, um, and it's coming out with this little guy. It doesn't come with it. I should, we should point this out that we made a separate figure um, for. U.S. Navy Seabees, yeah. so the, the Fighting Seabees. Fighting Seabees, he's decked out, it got some ammo pouches on there. Um, it's kind of interesting, you know, historically the Seabees, the, they'd be sort of a mix of Army and Navy gear, so you see them kind of wearing a, a bunch of different things. Um, underarm printing on this guy. Um, cool, yeah, they're wearing, he's wearing the dungarees, it's really iconic of that, uh, hold on, helmet, come on, come on. He's wearing the dungarees and that chambray shirt there as well, with, and both of them have that simulated texture. Um, that I've been just experimenting with, so uh, a lot of fun putting that together. Um, yeah, so that would go really, really well with this kit. I mean, it's kind of a no-brainer there. So and the CBs, they were just kind of thrown together. These units were just created, mm -hmm. and you know, they started out as actually civilian units, and then were incorporated in the Navy, and actually able to, you know, the Navy took over basically, started these these construction battalions and went all across the Pacific. They didn't have really a uniform to begin with. They were right. wearing Navy uniforms, whatever they could get. Um, you, know, you see them wearing M1 steel pot helmets uh, on the beaches. Usually they'll be toting a M1 um, carbine or something. And it wasn't uncommon for these guys to be like working on an airfield and getting sniper shots on them, right. and taking at them from uh, you know hidden hidden snipers out in the jungle. So, so they fight back sometimes, absolutely. right? Absolutely, fighting CBs. That's that's the name. There we go. So. Cool figure, uh, awesome kit. Uh, anything else about this kit that you'd like to go oh, over? Oh, these are stickers. I just want to point out, these are stickers. They're not printed on here. So the Brick Mania construction, it's sort of homage to the Donovan Construction Company on the on the actual bulldozer yeah. from, from the movie. Um, but we made it Brick Mania because that's what we are. Very good. I, I just love that rolling track there. That's so cool. It's Yeah. So it doesn't take much. It's been a few years since we've had a, a CB's bulldozer mm -hmm. any kind available. So, so yeah, you, we've we've had this model, a, a similar model to this released previously. Um, we've done two caterpillars before. Sure. This is this is the first time we've done this one for uh, available to the public. We've had this. This has been in our in our yeah. repertoire for quite a long time. So, any updates to this from previous versions or? Not necessarily. Um, there, 
the, I mean, the only thing is we updated the sticker back. Sure. I mean, if it's uh, if it works, why fix it? You know. Yeah, it's not. It's, a, it's been a solid model for over the years. So I, I mean, obviously, check out that cool rolling. And <laughs> yeah, this is one of the few ones that that I didn't really have to do much to. Yeah. It, was, it was sitting in our display case. And, you know, we need to release that again. People are asking. For yeah. It. Let's do it. And that's the one thing with the military dior dioramas that I think really sets apart. Um, like obviously, you have the tanks and the fighting vehicles, but you know, really what wins the war is what supports all that. And so this is just like a quintessential piece for uh, that, you know, Pacific Theater dioramas. Right, and so. we haven't, we haven't, you know, we, we've always paid homage to the, the, the CVs in the past, and it's been quite a while, so yeah. we need to make sure we, we bring this back. Very cool. Um, anything else, Dan? No, this, that's it. Get that's it while the, you can. It's the Fighting CVs and Natasha the Bulldozer. Um, limited, limited production, <laughs> then, yes. World War very, II, US Navy. Very TV cool. Bulldozer. And if, uh, if they want more information on this, Dan, where should they go? Brickmania.com. Brickmania.com. How about that? Uh, with that, that is the episode. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you very much. Guy in there. Oh, put him in there. Put him in there. <laughs> Very cool. This thing's so big, he's basically got a love seat. <laughs> <laughs> well, the minifigure takes up half of that love. I mean, <laughs> you need a love seat for the minifigure. Yeah, I see. You got the little handles. These these handles actually control the, uh, the, 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 the real bulldozer. They would control the raising sure. and lowering of the blade. And this one, of course, it's just simulated. <laughs> That's cool. You have to do the controlling yourself. Some giant hands. <laughs> 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 cool, that's it.